Ready to heal from your childhood trauma? Then these are the seven misconceptions that you have to let go of in order to give yourself permission to heal. Number one, it's just an emotional scar. Uh, wrong. Childhood trauma is actually brain damage and it damages our nervous systems, which can affect everything from our physical health to our immune systems. Number two, it's all in the past, let go of it. Childhood trauma and the pain and dysfunction of your upbringing doesn't just go away magically when you turn 18 or 21. It's a lifetime experience and it can leave you with lingering and debilitating effects like PTSD and CPTSD, which have to be managed for the rest of your life, no matter how much work you do. Number three, assuming that there is a definite set timeline or finish line. Unfortunately, trauma and recovery is different for everyone, which means that the time it takes you to actually come to a place where you feel fulfilled, happy, stable, content, joyful, whatever your goals are, may be different from everyone else. It may take you months, it may take you days, it may take you years. There's no set timeline for recovering who you are. Number four, you have to forgive the people that hurt you in order to heal. Uh, wrong. And you especially don't have to forgive people that don't feel bad about what they did. The only person that you have to forgive in this healing journey is yourself. You have to forgive yourself for the choices that you made when you didn't have all the information or when you still hated yourself. That's it. You don't owe anyone else forgiveness but yourself. Number five, thinking there's a one-step formula or quick fix. Again, false. It doesn't matter what anyone sells you. Anyone who promises that their five-step program is going to completely heal the brain damage and nervous damage that you have from childhood trauma is a liar. There's no instant mix formula to finding peace and happiness. You have to collect all the pieces that help you feel better and then create a patchwork quilt of happiness and contentment for yourself. Number six, waiting for some kind of magical closure doesn't exist. There's not going to be a magical ending to the chapter. You are the only person who is going to be able to give yourself closure and finally allow yourself to move on in the direction you deserve to be in. And last but not least, number seven, the misconception that you have to let go of if you want to heal from your childhood trauma is avoiding accountability. That's right. If you really want to find peace, then you have to allow people to be accountable for what they did. That means holding mom and dad accountable, even if it's only in your mind, and accepting that what happened to you was wrong. It was damaging. It never should have happened. And now you have to clean up the mess and find a way to recover. What's helped you most on your childhood trauma healing journey? Let me know in the comments and remember, follow for more.